Hey, welcome back everybody. In this video, we're going to create a practice program to find the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle. And the formula to solve that is C equals the square root of A squared plus B squared. We'll create two variations of this program. First, we'll accept some user input via some prompts. Then later on, we'll adjust this program and accept some user input through some HTML text boxes. Let's begin. Let's declare three variables, each for side A, B, and C. Let A, let B, and let C. We'll accept some user input for sides A and B. A equals window.prompt, and the prompt will be enter side A. When we accept user input, it's a string, we'll need to convert that to a number. A equals number pass in A. Let's do the same thing for side B. Let's copy and paste what we have, but change A to B. And the formula to calculate the hypotenuse goes a little something like this. C equals, we'll need to square sides A and B and add them together. We can use JavaScript math dot power function, A to the power of two, plus, copy this, paste it, B to the power of two. Then we need to square all of this and that equals C. So in the next step, we could set C equal to math dot square root and pass in C. If you would like to do this in less steps, you could copy all of this, cut this line and paste what we just copied. So this would only take one line of code. Then at the end, we will display side C. Side C, C. Okay, let's run this. Enter side A, A is three, B is four, side C equals five. Okay, now let's make a more advanced version of this program. We'll accept some user input via some HTML text boxes. So let's head to our HTML file and add a couple elements. We'll create three labels. Label, the first will have an ID equal to maybe a label. Then close this tag and I'll add a line break. Then I'll copy this, paste it. We'll have a B label and a C label. I'll change the text to side A, colon, side B, and side C. Okay, and this is what we have so far. I'll add two text boxes right underneath A and B, and then a button later. We'll create a self-closing input tag. Then I'll add a line break at the end before I forget. Set the type equal to text because it's a text box and I will give this a unique ID of a text box. Okay, let's copy this, then underneath B label and give this text box an ID of B text box. Okay, this is what we have so far. Then I'll create a button underneath the second text box. So right here. So we'll create a pair of button tags and a line break. I'll set the type equal to button and an ID of what about submit button. Then I should probably add some text. So between the button tags, submit. So let's save, then heading back to our JavaScript file, this is what we have to type. This will be a little bit advanced for us because we haven't discussed functions yet. When we click on this button, we need to do something. To select this button, we will type document.get element by ID within the parentheses, we will list a unique ID. I would like the ID of my submit button. Then follow this with dot on click. When we click on this button, we would like to do something. We would like to perform a function function parentheses curly braces within the curly braces. We will execute some code and actually we can copy a lot of what we have here. So let's copy our previous code and paste it, but we need to change a couple things around. We would not like window prompts. So let's change this line to a equals document dot get element by ID. And I would like to get the value of this text box, which has a unique ID of a text box. Follow this with dot value. We're taking the value of this text box and assigning it to variable A. 
when we accept user input, it's normally a string. We're going to convert it to a number. Let's do the same thing with B. So copy that line, paste it, change A to B here and here as well, then convert it to a number. We can keep this line of code. The logic is still the same. And lastly, we can update this label. I'm going to change this around real quick. I don't want to display anything, but we'll still keep the label. I'm going to change the inner HTML of this label, C label. Document dot get element by ID. We are selecting C label, and I'm going to change the inner HTML and set this equal to side C colon space plus C. Okay, so make sure you save both your HTML document and your JavaScript file, and let's run this. So side A is three, side B is four. Let's press submit, and side C is five. So yeah, everybody, that is a practice program to find the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle. If you would like a copy of all this code, I'll post this in the comments section down below. If this video helped you out, feel free to help me out by smashing that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.